Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you full AP nuke Zac and how to carry on it as a jungler. I will say that Tank Zac is a lot more consistent and Tank Zac is actually one of the best jungle champions right now. Roughly top 5, at least top 10. AP Zac, I'd probably put it in the top 20 jungle champion category. Pretty much just go electric. You could go Dark Harvest if you really wanted to. I wanted more damage because of the uh, the Master, master PP here. I don't want to get Dark Harvest. Uh, Ash, I don't know why she's messaging me. So sometimes people will just, they'll send you a message. It's not even like mean, but you're just like, why are you typing to me? It's weird. Great, let's get it. All right, so Master Yi, I want to start where he's starting. So if he's starting on red, I kind of want to start blue. I don't want him to red invade me. If I start up here, if he finds out about it, somebody tells him, he catches a whiff, then uh, we'll be in trouble. So I'll just blue start. I'll five camp clear gank. Five camp clear is pretty solid if you're a slower ganking, slower clearing jungler. Uh, that's how you can uh, gank and then still get scuttle crab. With that being said, I don't think we can fight Master Yi off of Scuttle Crab. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to really fight anyone off of Scuttle with Zac. It's kind of like the Evelyn situation where your early damage is so terrible and your cooldowns are so long that the only thing you can really beat is a jungler who has less than half HP and you have to be full HP. It's situational on Evelyn. Evelyn, there's some situations. You're probably like near Raptors or something. It's a little different. Yeah, we got a ward down. Make sure he didn't invade. I started blue side. We have all of our bases covered. We did. We started just with bot lane for the best leash. We're going to skip Gromp. Gromp takes the longest on Zach. I'd just skip that one in general. If you're going to play AP Zach, it takes forever. And you're just going to go double adaptive in your runes. Electrocute, sudden impact, eyeball collection. Nimbus cloak's really nice. And uh, absolute focus is normally pretty helpful. I will say that uh, if you guys want to see the level order all in one place if you want to see runes everything satisfy yourselves go to the very start of the video i have it all there for you to see all in one place i get a lot of questions in the comments saying hey what are the runes or hey what's this or that i'm like come on my guy yeah they just didn't know they probably skipped past the beginning trying to get to the good stuff i hopped over the wall those little turds are resetting as you can see, doing a five camp clear on Zach gets you to the scuttle crab pretty much as it spawns in. We're not gonna still be there quite on time. But we will be set up for a gank or possibly a counter gank if Master Yi goes for scuttle. That was a great word by the Garen. As yeah, Zach is a bit of a slow clearer. His clears are pretty slow. They're on the slower side of the spectrum. At least initially, his clears get a lot faster as he gets more and more levels. His cooldowns are just so long early on. Master Yi hasn't gone for it. We could go for it. We could go mid. I kind of want to gank top. Zach's level 3 ganks aren't great. His level 4s are better, but this Nasus is really... He's really going for it. Gonna smack him against the minion. Garen's taking too many turret shots. He only... I guess he only took one, but it looked like I never hit him. Not taking any damage. Level 4 Zach ganks are way better. Your E gets way longer. You're gonna max E first. Now I can actually reach from a bush. Which is nice. There's Master Yi. He has four more CS than us. Looks like he's going for an invader. He's going for Scuttle Crab. Oh, this is Warded. They know I'm here now. Rumble can smell me. I'm about to get counter ganked here. Master Yi's gonna flop in. I'm just gonna chill. Take it easy. Yeah, I knew it. I just thought I might be able to land it. It's alright. Pulling back. Maybe Annie will stun the guy. Nah, she doesn't have the passive ready for that. We'll go back to my wolves. There's a chance Master you could go over there. You can't kill us for full HP. We could just run away. Nothing going on bot lane. Once you're level 5, you can start reaching that a lot easier when the enemies are shoved up underneath turret. Level 4, you can't reach very well. I wouldn't recommend it. Nimbus Cloak is really good with your ult. And having Ultimate Hunter... Super important on AP Zach. If you don't have Ultimate Hunter on AP Zach and you don't have that much kill securing power, you're also very easy to kill in general. You can't get people off of you. And they can cancel your E with a lot of their CC. Now their team can't. The only one on their team who has any real CC is Thresh. He's the only one who can cancel out my E. So if he's good, we might have some issues. But other than that, we should be fine. 
Trying to set up a gank. Not the easiest. This realm's been getting down some really good wards. He's been paying attention. He's gonna go for that minion. I knew it. Gonna Q him. Slap him. After you land your E's when you want to Q them. That way you can't miss it. Landing your Q's a bitch. If you don't have him knocked first and you miss it. He just activated his true damage. I have my E. Hopefully Annie follows. I'm gonna Q him against the Raptor. Check this out. Bada boom. Uh, I think she's... Ooh, she actually landed the stun. We got his flash though. That's pretty good. She's leashing me with Tibbers. What a nice guy. Very cool. Looks like their bot lane's rotating. Master E's coming back. I don't like this situation. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm flopping out. Okay, let's back. We have enough gold to get what we want. On your first back on AP Zach Jungle, you're pretty much just looking to get some AP. You're looking for Fiendish Codex. Worst case scenario, you can just go for Blue Smite, but we're going Fiendish and we're getting our boots. And uh, we're also getting a Dark Sill for the flex. If you're not far ahead, I feel like I'm kind of ahead. I have a, I'm at least tied with Master Yi. And I know what I'm doing, so. Dark Seal's fine for me. You don't get the, the mana out of it. But if you are fed early, then it is a pretty good option. Because you can get the mesh eyes after a bit. I'm going to take these guys at the same time. I don't think E would invade me. He still hasn't backed. I have a severe item lead over him. Actually, be very hard for him to solo me. As long as I land my CC on him. Don't take blue and gromp at the same time. Until you at least have items. If you try to do this. Uh, in your first clear, you'll take a lot of damage. So wait till you're at least level three and up and then even then make sure you have some items like i have now otherwise you're gonna lose everything he's shoving a big wave does it is he gonna stay i think he's gonna stay i don't think he has any more items to buy i think he's already sitting on his build right now you see how he already has so many items compared to my ash and with the amount of kills he has i think he's gonna just shove it and then stay thresh my i mean my nautilus might spook him though fortunately yeah, he's, he's literally going to spook him. It's like, dude, you just let him push the wave. I can come help you. I'm gonna knock this guy up. He got, oh, he had flash, that sucks. I R flash there. You can start up your R animation and still flash and get it off the way you want it to. Master Yeast here, Ash is about to kamikaze. Solid kamikaze there. <laughs> Boy, that was rough to watch. Okay, we still got our passive. We're fine. Ezreal doesn't have ult. You can't kill us. All you can do is kill a Bloblet. Alright, that's that's fine by me. Rumble's actually down here. This is, what the fuck is the turret hitting? I gotta pick up my little Bloblets, man. I got ignited, though. We did get the Master Yi, which is nice. We're still on the right track. Unfortunately, Nautilus got the kill on Yi somehow. Must have been his Ignite. His Ignite kept him aggroed on it. The enemy's all heavy rotated. Ezreal has no flash, so we can go repeat gank that. And yeah, we're going to build into our full jungle item. One of the bad things about Zac is your jungle item gives you AP, and obviously Zac doesn't have mana. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. His jungle item gives you mana. I'm saying the wrong words here. Yeah, you, you need the AP. You need the cooldown, but the 300 mana is useless. You can't even use it. We don't have our full item yet. Our ultimate's up. We can look for a gank. Basically, your biggest power spikes on Zac is level 4. For better ganks, level 4, level 6, and a full jungle item is what you're looking for. Those are your three main early ones. Cue them together. Gonna drop a fat R. Pick up my blobs. I don't know how we lost that. <laughs> how? How did we lose that? Shit. I would have to go back and rewatch it. We knocked them all together. We land three AoE CCs. Was Garen almost dead or something? That was nuts. Alright, we've got full jungle item. We're just going to stack more and more AP. Our first item outside of our jungle item. Our second item is going to be Sork Shoes. And then I'm going to want... Something like Leandri's and a Rabadon or an Hourglass. Rabadon, Leandri's, Hourglass. Leandri's, Rabadon, Hourglass, and uh, potentially Spellbinder. Woodstaff isn't bad either. Morello, Oblivion Orb would be good. 
If I was really fed, I would just go Sorkshu Oblivion Orb and I'd be chunking on super hard. Going double flat magic pen early if you're fed is super powerful. That was a really interesting fight though. I'm excited to see how these other fights play out. Once you have four or five points in your E, you can reach super easy over walls. Go all the way into lane. You can get a little more reach by standing there. Gonna Q Nautilus, I mean Q Thresh. The minion there. Hope, I don't know why we're not hitting the dude. Because we really want that Ezreal. <laughs> Man, Thresh almost got away. Somebody's roaming. Nautilus isn't happy about something there. I think Rumble's on his way. Master Yi was also crossing over. It's freaking me out. He might be on Raptors. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Yeah, Master Yi's chasing me. I'll just E away, dude. It's all good. Got two R's out of it. If Rumble doesn't have Flash, I live. <laughs> Jeez, man. They really want me. I feel like they had no way to get me, but they were just going for it. Watch this. Why do I feel like Rumble knows I'm there? That was so weird how he just knew. Bounce him away, I'm fine. Even though I'm pretty squishy right now, as long as I nip him with my R, it's like an Alistar head buddy can't get me. You gotta really pay attention to how you're bouncing. <coughs> Not every Zac ultimate is created equal. If you're just using it to use it for the movement speed, it's pretty damn useless. You gotta make sure you're nipping people with it, pushing them in towards your teammates, pushing them towards your turret. And uh, your ultimate has a startup time. It's got like a five second startup, so you can R and then flash. Kind of like a Gragas belly flop. You can R flash on people. Just make sure you know how long your flash is so you don't waste it and just knock them away from you and your team. Takes a little bit of practice. Nasus is shoving up. This is what Zach lives for. You never shove when you don't know where Zach is. I, Not to be a complaining little turd, but every time they go to shove so far, my teammates will push them off when it's the freest thing in the world. <laughs> it's just like so free. I'm gonna smack him against the minion and he's dead. Yeah, if you have a Zach on your team, guys, just let the enemies, when they got a big wave, let him finish it. And I'll just hop over like a fiddle ult. Zach E is just. A fiddle ult times two in terms of range. He loves it when the enemies are aggro. You get shipper done really easy that way. The enemies are pushing in. Rumble no R. I'll shove mid, get some turret plates. Turret plates are about to fall off here. I might be able to snag one if I hurry. I think Annie's dead unless she plays it really smart. Unless she got Master Yi, that's something. Oh, now I'm gonna get turret plate. Turret plates fell off 14 minute mark right as I was about to get one. Took a lot of damage for it too, just trying to pinch off that last auto. Didn't work out. We help off the minions. I have my R, even if NASA shows up, he's top. I'll be fine. I'm gonna queue these guys together, get some more bloblets. Alright, there we go. Trying to get back to my absolute focus there. Gonna go top with my R. Your R's on a fairly low cooldown, all things considered, on Zach. Compared to things like fiddlesticks, they're waiting all day for their R. Gonna knock them up. Blue smite them. This guy's beating the shit out of me. I have my passive, so it doesn't really matter. He, he probably didn't realize it since I was running away. Hey, Karen's not even gonna get him. Nasus is fast. Nasus has Nimbus Cloak, and he also had a uh, Flash there. Or Ghost, I don't know which one it was. Where's Annie? She's chasing Nasus. Master E's here. I'm a little scared. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's worth fighting. I'll just farm it up. I need to get more HP back anyways. They might start dragging. None of our concern until we can get some more HP. We might have been all of the health there, but we're so low on health that my teammates are probably going to be mad that I wasn't over there. Yeah, I couldn't, can't really help him. I don't have bolt. If I miss E, I'm going to insta-die. If you don't have passive or ult on AP Zac, you're pretty useless. Your your engages are very uh, very sketchy. Because if the E doesn't land, which it's very easy to miss, if the enemies are juking, then you're fudged. You're just you're done for. 
and max my e second still. Like how there's still a pink in this bush. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and just mute all. I know Master E's on Harold. I don't know what they want me to do about it. Guess he doesn't have full jungle item. I might be able to fight it. He's full health, but I can't. <laughs> he has red smite. He's gonna red smite me, and I'll do zero damage. Oh, see that flash? He had it the whole time. And then I'm dead. That's how it goes on Zach. If you don't land your E because they have flash or because they're just a stronger champion, you're in trouble. It's part of the part of the struggle on AP Zach. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get this. We're just gonna get the Morello, man. They have healing. They got Mastery Meditate. They got Nasus heals. Nasus has 20% life still. That's his passive. Ezreal has Conqueror. For all I know, for all I know, Rumble could have Ravenous healing. I'll just get the Morello. It's giving me HP, giving me some useful stats. Probably just go rob it on after this. My ultimate's gonna be on a really low cooldown once I'm level 16, level 11. Should still be able to carry this game. It's just tough if you go for engages and you don't have R, you're just kind of dead. Especially if they have Flash. Looks like Nasus is shoving it up. He has nearly 300 Q farm. Papa bless. They are laying so many wards. I'll give the enemies props. The amount of wards they've laid this game has been impressive. And like where they've been putting them have all been... They've been uh, getting high value out of it. Big props. Nah, why is he running away? I'm blue smited Nasus. Knock him against the minion. I think he's gonna... Ooh, nice. Garen got the triumphant healing. Very cool. Yeah, I missed my E there. As you guys probably saw. Gonna shove down top. Looking at the action on the map. Trying to figure out where the enemies are. Where they're gonna go. Looks like we're diving mid. Dragon's coming up. I should push towards mid. Look for wards to break. Rumble bot. I wonder where... Oh, there's Mastery. I was wondering where he's gonna show up. He was either gonna go kill my Garen. Or he's gonna go get my Ash. But turns out he's just chilling mid. This is most likely warded. Supports these days with their free words. They don't understand the struggle. Back in my day, supports had to buy their words. Everyone had to buy their own words. It's like 75 gold for a green ward. I think a pink ward was 100 gold. It might have been the same price. I think it was more though. It now supports, they're so pampered. They have items that give them words for free. It's crazy. Ooh, give me on that. Ooh, and I smited the dragon. Hell yeah. Got the Nasus queued. Smack them together. I need my teammates to turn. Turn, boys. Turn around. They got this fucking raid boss. No one's trying to hit him. Nasus is mashing my head in. I don't know where the... I guess we're just gonna fucking let him be. I feel like we could fight him if Nautilus mans up. There we go! Man up! <laughs> Yo, I knew Nautilus had it in him. I could see the sparkle in his eye. I knew if you could just CC him there for a second, it could pop over the wall. That's the power of Zaki once it's maxed. It's got the range of a Luxult just about. We don't have passive, we don't have R. We're in a dangerous spot. The only reason I stay is because the enemies. Are all coming out of base. I knew they couldn't really get me in time. Oh, you know he's gonna he's gonna go straight for my turret. Oh, let's see if we can stop him. We do have passive. This shit's probably worded, unfortunately. The enemies are warding like crazy. Harold's gonna chop it down to about a third, unless the enemies can hit it. Oh, I don't want to go in. Thresh is spooking me, man. If Thresh wasn't there, I'd do it, but I don't want him to flame me out of the air. They didn't get the ward in the bush. We can do this, team. Go, team, go. I still have my passive. I'm going to R this guy into turret. No one's going to hit him. Ash isn't going to R. Nautilus isn't going to R. No one's going to use their R until I'm dead. Okay, I barely live. Papa bless. There we go. They both still have R, by the way. <laughs> we we R'd Rumble into turret like an Alstar headbutt, and they're just chilling. They're like, all right, this is... This is okay. <laughs> Man, AP Zach, I'll tell you. It is a lot easier to die on than tank Zach, and uh, it's a lot easier to mess up. 
Boy, oh boy. Sure is. A lot less forgiving. If you're slightly out of position, you'll die really fast. I think we're giving up turret here. Ash got hungry for a blue. She went on the hunt. Gonna get our boot. We're gonna get our mesh. We have passive up. Oh, wait, never mind. We don't have passive. What am I talking about? Thought our ult's about to be up. We're we'll probably just go for hourglass right now. Should I just keep building AP to please you, or should I start building some real freaking items like Thorn Mel and Spirit Vistage? <laughs> I mean, at this point, if you could get away with building AP, just start like buy a Spirit Vistage and a Thorn Mel. <laughs> Cause this isn't gonna cut it <laughs> this is not worth unless i can land on their whole team it's not gonna be worth it maybe i should just go rob it on it's hard to say well yeah what's it called leandres would be pretty good right now too i wouldn't go for i think rylas would suck i already have so much hard cc like what's that slow gonna do for him it's not gonna do anything oh buddy oh buddy you guys see that Master, he's going for it. He doesn't have any items yet. He's just Blood Razor. He's legit just raw Blood Razor. With a recurve bow and an amp tome. I don't know what his goal is there. He's going to flex on my nearly two, two and a half item Garen. Smack his ass against that minion. Garen's not going to help. Going to knock him up. Take him out. That was so weird. It's so weird sometimes how your teams run away. Right when you knock them up, queue them, knock them together, then you are. You got three AoE knockups. Sometimes your teammates they panic. They don't realize what you're packing on this champ. You're packing three AoE knockups, my friend. Zach, Zach is no joke. I'm, now, AP Zach is a bit of a joke, but Zach as a champion is no joke right now. He's very meta for a reason. The stats are there. The tankiness is there. Big old guy. Alright, we're almost out of position. Let's go hunt him down. He doesn't have TP. He's going to have to run all the way home where he's going to try to back in this bush. He's running all the way home. Yeah, there he is. I see him. And he got him. Alright, nice job, Andy. Just saved me a lot of time having to chase that down. That would have been a pain. They might be on Baron. Never mind. He's top. Ezreal's dead. If he and like Nasus, they could actually take Baron right now. If Nasus tanked it for him take a little bit but it could do it glad they're not doing that that put me in a bit of a spot okay got Gromp. nice all right so at this point in the game just be patient as long as you have r up you're fairly safe and you're just waiting for the right opportunity to go in you don't have to force stuff on zach you can wait till the enemies force it and then you can go in i'm gonna ping out dragon your blob should still oof what is how did that happen who did that uh, I don't feel comfortable now. I thought Garen was holding the door. I thought he was watching it. Oh, shit. I didn't even smite it, but we got it anyways. That's what I'm talking about. Garen's going to save top turret. Perfect. Mm, there might be a fight mid. We can't afford any real items, so we don't have to back. We just got to heal up a little bit. Ooh, our ultimate's on such a low cooldown. Less than a minute. If we could just land a fat load and drop it right on their heads, that'd really make my day. None of them have any MR except for top. You know MR, mid no MR. I have flat, double flat magic pen, sword shoot, uh, oblivion orb, and, Mer and the Morello. So my sword shoe Morello, I don't know. Oh, she's actually going to give it? All right. I was like going to let her have it. Maybe she just wanted to auto it down. That was weird. Maybe I misread that. Yeah, I don't thresh thinks he's doing. He's feeling like a tough guy. He sees Ash body, wants a piece. It's probably worded. Everything's worded, man. They know what's happening. Does Annie have hourglass? No, she doesn't. I knew that was gonna go to shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm missing my stuff. I can't really go in though. We don't have Ash. I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna fight 4v5. And their Nasus is pretty big too. He's got almost 500 stacks. It's not an easy fight. I can't one shot him. The dude has some MR. A lot of HP. Knock him up. Ooh, or can I? Psych. I'm gonna blue smite this guy. Oh, get me out. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, I wish Ash was there. I don't know why she's split pushing. I'm gonna pick up these blobs. I'm gonna live by a thread. That's how we do it around here. Yeah, you just gotta stay alive. If you're gonna buy Mej, make sure you don't die. Your life with Mej eyes is important than everyone else. You're basically someone who works in the government. And you get to toss everyone away like the used tish piece of tissue paper that they are. That's Zach, dude. AP Zach. You gotta play like that. If you're tossing away Mej stacks, then uh, you're in trouble. It's really important you keep them going. Otherwise, you'll miss out on all your damage. What are we going to be building here? I don't know if it's worth going Leandre's. It's hard to say. A lot of the stuff on Zack is situational when you're going AP. Looking at their comp. They still don't have any M any MR. I could go Void Staff if I really, really want to put on the pressure. I'd like to get Robidon though, since I have so many mesh stacks. Hourglass would be good as well. I don't have gold for anything. I'm still really short of a full item. Ezreal's watching me like a hawk. There he is. Oh, we got Nasus. I don't think we can one-shot him, though. He's got health and double MR items. He has Mantle. And uh, Vistage. So we just got to chill. We don't have that kind of AP yet. We're not Evelyn. We can't just do whatever we want when we want it. If I was this fed on Evelyn, I'd chop him in half. Why are they chasing? What do they think they're going to do? You know how hard it is to ch chase an Ash? It's Crazy man, crazy people over here. Got nearly full stack mesh now. They're in trouble. They're sweating it. <laughs> I, I bet you they really are sweating it. They're starting to see the stacks build up. They know that this flying piece of lasagna is gonna put the hurt on them. No, nah, no one's gonna come for this. This is so free too. It's like so free, but I can't. No, I can't one shot him, so I don't want to fight that. Gotta just let Nasus free farm, I guess. Ezreal, what are you doing? Q him, smack his ass into the inhib. And then I can E him for free. The QCC lasts so long, I can string it together. He dude couldn't fight back. After I hit him with that Q, he's basically in a chokehold. Just putting him to sleep. Nothing he could do. Oh boy, we have R. They're gonna be pushed out. What do you think they're gonna do, guys? Think they're gonna go for Baron or they're gonna stop us at Dragon. I think they're gonna try to stop us at Dragon since Ezreal's dead. I think they're gonna walk up. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna queue them together. And I'm gonna press R. <laughs> I feel like I'm describing the most basic shit. Like, Zach mechanics aren't that hard. <laughs> it's, it's like describing a fiddlesticks mechanic. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Blue smile, I'm still tanking because I'm a nice guy. All right. Sometimes the nice guys gotta revive. Oh man, let's get back in it. I wouldn't have if I didn't have passive. I wouldn't have done that. By the way, it's only doing that because I had passive. I I finished this build. I'd probably go rob it on and then get hourglass kind of thing. I think is I'm doing so much burst damage and killing them over the span of two or three seconds that I think Leandre's would, would suck on me it's better on tank zack because you're sitting in there for like 20 seconds or whatever if you really wanted to buy it you could but on ap zack don't go leandries it's kind of overpriced for what you're getting out of it just focus on flat magic pen uh yeah and then you can get robbed on hourglass because that stuff is kind of op that's all i really have to say about that the dragon and then we can do scuttle they have top in hib play around that could even go for Baron I'm definitely gonna back though we have three wow it's so OP my ultimate's on a 40 second cooldown because I have five ultimate hunter stacks it's level three and the extra 30% there for my R it's really nice we sell that and we'll go for our Robidon really big purchase we can't afford the part to our hourglass we'll just let it be I guess we could actually sell this and get the stopwatch. It's probably a better item in this upcoming fight if I get picked. I've been very careful about my engages. There was only one engage that was kind of sketchy that I did mid and Rumble flashed it. Other than that, I, 
our gauges this game have been pretty clean. Cleaner than normal, to be honest. We have our Mastery doesn't have Wits End yet. We're fine. They don't have that much MR. It's just the, the Nasus. But I have enough damage to where that one MR item he has. I guess he has two now. He's got the Spirit Vistage and the, the Legion. I gotta be careful. I gotta fight him with teammates. We really shouldn't even be bought. That Garen move doesn't make any sense. I can't go in there. Rumble has Hourglass. He's gonna Hourglass when I press R and I can't kill him. Then Ezreal's gonna kill me. Because Ezreal's the bounce champion that has a 70% ban rate in Korea. Platinum and up. Bounce champ. He's like the Graves of the ADC role. He scales. He's good early. Good early scales. Very safe. Highly mobile. Has great item choices. There's, there's nothing bad about that champ. Yeah, do you see how I just got absolutely fucked by him? I got hit by like one Ezreal Q and I lost half my health. That's what I'm talking about. And I have an I have an HP item too. I have bonus 300 HP here. <laughs> that, that's the scary part. It's, oh, man. I want Master Yi to Q. Uh, I didn't want to E over because if Ezreal hits me with one auto attack. Hits me... <laughs> I don't know why the champion like that has that kind of damage. He's so mobile. Imagine if a cheetah was as strong as a freaking... Was it a leopard? No, it's a jaguar. Yeah, it's jaguars like pull up... I don't know if they're alligators or if they're caimans. They pull up caimans and uh, deer and stuff into trees. Pretty sure it's jaguars. I think that's what it is. Big old cat lives in the jungle. Really, really strong. There's, you know, you know how like when things are too big, they can't climb trees. Like most bears can climb trees, but like big old grizzly bears, they can't really get up them. They're too heavy. That's how it kind of gets with cats. Like with tigers and lions, they get too freaking big. But jaguar is still like very large, but it's still small enough to run up a tree like it's nothing. Why am I tanking this? This hurts. I'm losing all my HP. I'll just press R. My R is on such a short cooldown. I'll get a lot of blob bits out of it. You no, know, you're normally you're never gonna do that on tank Zach. You're never gonna ult Baron. On AP Zach, if you have Ultimate Hunter, if the enemies aren't coming, you might as well. It's scary, dude. As well does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Get our elixir. Go back in the fight. Should probably sell my hourglass, but this is about to be the last fight of the game, most likely. Unless we lose this fight, the game's over. If we win it, it's over. Probably should have sold my little hourglass thing and bought some armor. Trying to stay true to the full EP Zach. Master Yi. Oh no. Come on, Nautilus. Nautilus, what have you done? Boy, oh boy. <clears throat> and when Master Yi has his Conqueror stacked and the Rage Blade stacked, you can't go in. You just don't. Just let him be. You fight him when he doesn't have that up and you fight him with your team. Whenever people see Master Yi, they pretend they're in one of those bad Kung Fu movies where the bad guy goes at Jackie Chan one at a time or whatever. There's a, he's surrounded by like 20 bad guys and they all just take their turn one at a time. It's like, no, you gotta dogpile him and you can't fight back. That's like this Master Yi. We can't. <laughs> Garen got destroyed. Master Yi's level 15. Garen's level 18. Master Yi's trying to pin me. Oh, I thought Master Yi was going to keep me for sure there. I was going to R him on my team. Oh, no. Wow, Andy one-shot him. Jeez. Oh, no. At least Ezreal missed his first Q. There we go. Do you see how much damage that guy does? He built Trinity Force, has Boots of Lucidity, and a Hex Drinker, but boy, does he chunk. And I know you're going to say, oh, you don't have any armor. Come on, dude. I got 94. That's something. I also have bonus 300 HP, but that guy kills me in two abilities. Scary. And we're just going to sit back, relax whenever you're playing Zack normally in these situations. You don't want the enemies to know where you are. 
since Yi's dead, it's kind of messing it up because they don't want to fight 4v5. Gonna get triple inhib. They're screwed now as long as we don't throw. My passive's down. I don't have hourglass. I'm not looking to force a fight. Especially as Yi spawns in with bonus movement speed. Just gonna chill. Wait. If I E, they're gonna dodge it. Now, if they use all their stuff, then I can land it for free. Like this. Oh, you see how I died instantly? Shit. I actually died instantly there. That sucks, man. I couldn't I couldn't even press R before I landed. I don't know if I landed on Rumble R. I didn't I couldn't even see it. Was I already on it over here? I, le I legit eat in and I couldn't see anything. Everything went black. <laughs> Everything went black on me there. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some armor MR. I'm telling you this build would be so much better if I finished it with the Thorn Melt and Spirit Vistage. Rumble has flat, double flat magic pen. He's got magic pen on the boots. Garen AFK now. Or, no, he's back. So he's got double flat magic pen. We got Ezreal some armored pen. I have nothing. It's diddly squat over here. I'm tempted to sell this and get an item. So I, can't, I don't think I'll be able to get hourglass. All we need is one good fight. One good fight and we win the game. Getting in there is the hard part. Rumble doesn't fall off as hard as you think if he goes uh, further. Or Dark Harvest. It actually scales pretty well on him. I dream of a day where they nerf Yumi and Ezreal in the same patch. Just to, just to show those players what's up. All those people playing Ezreal and Yumi. The safest champs in the game. Not only are they sit the, like the safest, but they also scale the best, and they're just like super easy to pilot. It's nuts. Imagine if Garen was a range champ. All right, let's let's finish this game off. All we need is one good engage on our E or one good arm. We're fine. Then these wards are making it tough. They're not gonna push out mid. They don't have inhib. I can get one E, that's all it takes without dying instantly. This is probably warded. Knock him up, press R, there we go. Gonna bounce on the Ezreal's head, mess him up. I don't know why the Master E didn't just go for me. He could have killed me in like an eighth of a second. And that's how that's how you do AP Zach guy. It's a lot of patience. You, you power spike in the mid game pretty hard. Late game, I'd like to say you fall off a little bit. Overall, not too bad. At the end of the day, I'll still recommend Tank Zach over AP Zach. Regardless, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.